So we're going to take a look at how you can make edits to various assignments, discussions, um, a lot of the content that you've created in your course. And as opposed to editing things one at a time, for instance, let's say you had an assignment, you needed to change the due date, extend the due date. You had another assignment that you also needed to do the same thing. Um, students were absent, it was a snow day, and you're giving an extension. So you could legitimately go into each one of your assignments and click on this tool click edit and then make all the necessary changes for just that particular assignment. Um, but there is a slightly easier way if you need to make multiple changes at once. And the way that you would do that is in your Schoology course you would come over to Gradebook and this shows again all of your assignments, your students that are in here, um, and you can view change the view of your Gradebook here if you want to look at um, just things that were marked excused, incomplete, missing. So you do have some options just within the gradebook itself here. You can also um, change the way that you're viewing this. So if you want to view the assignments that are due um, now as opposed to historical data, you can change it to due date descending and then all of the assignments and discussions, anything that you're assigning a grade to, um, those will show up closer on this end. Um, so in addition to this, what you can do is do something called bulk edit. So if you click on the three dots in the upper right corner of your gradebook and you go to bulk edit, this is going to allow you to change all kinds of things all on one screen. So you can see here I have all my different categories of assignments, so all the titles are here. So if I need to make any changes to the, the name, the title, uh, if I need to change the category as to where this is going in my gradebook, the point value, you can do that here. This is also, again, a place where you can set due dates, particularly if you're using student completion rules. This is a place where you can bulk edit and assign due dates for all the activities in student completion. And then you can also decide um, if this is going, if you want this to eventually sync to your uh, student information system. You also have the ability to add an additional assignment here um, instead of on your course homepage. I'm going to go back over to my gradebook because there are a couple of other things that I want to show you. Um, within the gradebook, you can also create additional columns. So if you have an activity or an assignment that is maybe going to complete be completed outside of Schoology, or maybe you just want to create a participation um, section here, or an assignment rather, and assign like a point value to that to be great to be um, part of your grades. What you can do is click on this plus sign, and you can see here you can create an assignment, you can create a discussion, but you can also create just a plain grading column. So let's say I want to call this participation, and the max value for a student participation order is going to be an additional 10 points. Um, category, which category am I going to put this in? I'll apply this to class discussions. Um, and then I'm not going to change anything else. And I'm going to click create. So now once this category is in here, and you can see it's here, um, if you have a lot of students in the class and the majority of them you know are are going to get the full points or you have a point value in mind that you're going to give the most of your students, you can actually fill this. So if anytime you click on the three dots next to anything in your gradebook, you have a number of different options, including set all grades. And this would allow you to set all the grades for the students in the course all at once. Um, and this is helpful if you just have one or two students who are going to be getting something different. This way you don't have to manually put that you also can see here um, you have some other options, any cells that are empty. This would um, come in handy for specific assignments that students have to turn in. Um, but if it was incomplete or missing, you would be able to, anybody whose grade didn't automatically go in there, you could mark those cells as missing, incomplete. Um, and then you would see it in the gradebook, and the students would also see it in their gradebook as well. Another helpful tool in the gradebook also um, is this view option here. So if you want to highlight just specific cells for different assignments based on whether they were marked as excused, incomplete, um, missing with submission, graded with new submission I think is actually a very helpful one. Um, so if students submit something to you via an assignment, whether it's a regular Schoology assignment or a OneDrive assignment, 
um, and then they submit something again and you have already graded it, it can be very hard to keep track of who submitted something new. So if you click on marked missing with uh, graded with new submission, this will highlight and you can see here this is one. This is my test student who had already submitted their assignment and I had given it a grade. Um, but then they redid it and submitted again. So this is the old grade, and now I need to look at his assignment again and see what the changes are to see if I'm going to be applying a new grade. So that is a very helpful tool. Last thing I'm going to show you as I go over back to bulk edit. Um, once you have made any of the changes that you want in here, um, you do have to remember to go to the bottom and hit save changes. And if you have a lot of assignments and things in a course, you will see you will be able to jump to different pages um, of assignments. Um, one other thing in here that you can do is you can unpublish certain assignments um, all at once as opposed to doing it one at a time. Um, and again, all the other changes that you have available to you here you can make and then all you need to do is save those changes. So I hope these little tricks and tips will help you manage your grades um, and make grading and editing your grades and your assignments a little bit easier for you in Schoology.